Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from the eLearning Designers Academy. All right, as you can see, I'm not in my normal workspace. I'm actually out of town in a hotel room in my hometown of Prescott, Arizona, where I am doing my annual writing retreat, which is a separate, whole separate thing that this video has nothing to do with. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm working on getting some, caught up on some emails and some work, and I thought it was a really great opportunity for me to record this video and show you a real practical use case of how I use AI on a daily basis. Now, you know, you can't go on LinkedIn for more than five minutes without finding somebody to telling you some hack or secret for using AI or prompt engineering and all of that stuff, right? But, you know, as I shared before when I did my video on how I use ChatGPT, specifically the voice interface, to practice your interviewing skills, it has been my experience that the best way to use AI is to simply talk to it like there's another human being on the other end of it. And that's exactly how I use it. And so in this video, what I'm specifically going to show you is how I use AI to help me draft content. So let me give you a little context and then we'll jump into it. So I'm working on um, hosting a really special webinar series with TechSmith. They're the creators of Camtasia, Snagit. We all know TechSmith. They are amazing. And I owe them uh, two session descriptions for the two sessions that I'm going to be delivering for them. And I could spend, you know, a good 30 minutes, 45 minutes drafting these sessions, um, but I've been on the road all day. I'm really tired. <laughs> and so I'm going to have ChatGPT do it for me. And I'm going to record this in real time so you can see how it all um, comes together. So let's jump over to my computer and check it out. All right. So here I am on my computer where I have ChatGPT opened. And um, I'm actually not going to use the typing interface. I, you might be one of those people who likes to type to chat GBT, but um, I type all day long and my fingers get tired. So I like to activate the voice interface. I'm going to go ahead and click this button here and we're going to jump into the voice interface. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. How can I help today? All right. Um, I am working on a presentation, two presentations that I'm going to be delivering for TechSmith on how I use Camtasia uh, to animate my YouTube content. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about how I script uh, my YouTube videos, how I plan for visual communications, and then I'm going to be showing how I actually use the animation features in Camtasia to animate my video content. And so I need to write uh, session titles and descriptions for these two sessions. So what information do you need from me in order to draft those? To draft engaging session titles and descriptions, it would be helpful to know, one, the target audience. Are they beginners, experienced users, or a mix? Two, the key takeaways. What should attendees be able to do or understand after each session? Any specific tips or unique approaches you plan to highlight that could stand out? And the overall tone or style you want to convey? Formal, casual, technical, or approachable? Anything else you'd like to include? All right, I'm going to mute myself there real quickly. So. As you can see, I'm I'm not like doing anything crazy with prompting. I am literally just giving it context to what I'm working on and I'm asking it to guide me on what information it needs. And as you could hear, it already did that. So let's continue. All right, great question. So for my audience, uh, this really is anybody who's using um, Camtasia. They might be new users, advanced users, anything and anywhere in between. So for the two sessions, I'll start with the first session. The first session is really all, got, all gonna be about my scripting and planning process. So how do I script my YouTube videos? And how do I specifically script for visual communication? So how do I write my content knowing that I'm gonna need to animate it in some way? Um, that's really what I'm gonna be covering in the first uh, session. So do we wanna tackle that one first? Absolutely. Let's tackle that first session. For a session focused on scripting and planning YouTube videos with an emphasis on visual communication, a potential title could be Scripting for Visual Impact, Crafting Engaging YouTube Videos. For the description, you might include something like, Join us for an in-depth look at how to craft compelling scripts that drive visual storytelling in your YouTube content. Learn how to plan your videos with visual communication in mind, ensuring your animations complement and enhance your message ideal for both new and experienced users of Camtasia looking to elevate their content. Does that align with what you had in mind? 
Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good, but a couple of things I'd like to change. I'd like to make the, at least for the session description and title, less focused on YouTube because really anybody could use these the tips I'm sharing in any context, but I'm specifically, specifically going to be showing how I do it for YouTube, but it doesn't have to necessarily be explicitly for YouTube. And then I would love to include my name in the session description. So something along the lines of join us for the session where Tim Slade's going to show you how to you know, blah, 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 blah. So can we make those edits? Got it. Here's a revised version. Title, Scripting for Visual Impact, Crafting Engaging Videos with Camtasia. Join Tim Slade for an in-depth session on crafting compelling scripts that drive visual storytelling. Learn how to plan your videos with visual communication in mind, ensuring your animations complement and enhance your message. Whether you're new to Camtasia or an experienced user, this session will help you elevate your content. How does that sound? All right. I, uh, I think that sounds really good. Um, can we change the session title? I can't remember exactly what words you used, but instead of, I think you said visual impact, can we say visual communications? Sure, here's the updated title. Scripting for Visual Communications, Crafting Engaging Videos with Camtasia. Does that work for you? Okay, I'm gonna mute myself there. Now, I want you to notice a couple of things about the way I'm interacting with ChatGPT in this case. I'm talking to it literally like there's another person there, right? So I'm giving it feedback. You even notice how I said, um, in this session, Tim's gonna explain blah, 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 blah. It didn't take the blah, 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 blah part. It knew that I meant, you know, fill in the blank, the et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it, that's super, super impressive. Let's continue. We'll do the second one now. All right, I think that uh, that all sounds good. Let's move on to the second session. What details do you want for that? Great. For the second session, it would help to know, one, the main focus. Are you diving deeper into the animation features in Camtasia, showcasing specific techniques, or something else? Two, key takeaways. What should attendees be able to do or understand after this session? Three, any unique tips or approaches you plan to highlight? Four, the overall tone or style for this session. Let's start there. All right, great. So this session is going to pick up where the first one left off. So I'm going to take um, the script that I showed people how to write in the first session, and then I'm going to pick up showing them how uh, I actually animate my YouTube content. So this one's going to be more technically focused on Camtasia, where I'm going to be showing how I use custom animations and specifically the behaviors feature in Camtasia to animate my on-screen content and how I mix talking head video with motion animation graphics. For this second session, a potential title could be Mastering Animation in Camtasia, bringing scripts to life. And for the description, join Tim Slade as he takes you from script to screen in this technically focused session on animating your YouTube content. Learn how to use custom animations and the behaviors feature in Camtasia to create engaging, dynamic videos. Discover how to seamlessly mix talking head footage with motion graphics to bring your content to life. Does that sound good to you? All right, that sounds good. Um, but once again, I don't wanna mention YouTube, so it's just purely how to animate videos in Camtasia. And then can you repeat the title for me again? Certainly. Here's the updated title and description. Mastering Animation in Camtasia, Bringing Scripts to Life. Join Tim Slade as he takes you from script to screen in this technically focused session on animating your videos. Learn how to use custom animations and behaviors feature in Camtasia to create engaging, dynamic content. Discover how to seamlessly mix different video elements to bring your projects to life. How does that sound? That sounds good. Um, from script to screen, or I can't remember what you put in the session title. Can we, instead of saying from script to screen or whatever you said, can we make it about scripting for visual communications or scripting for visual animations or something along those lines? I'm open to suggestions. Got it. Here's a revised title. From Script to Visual Animation, Mastering Animation in Camtasia. Does that work for you? Now, let's keep it script to screen. I like that. Great. Here's the finalized title. 
From script to screen, mastering animation in Camtasia. Does that sound good? Yeah, I like that. Awesome. I'm glad we nailed it down. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. Okay, I'm gonna mute myself. See, I'm done. I just created my uh, my session title and descriptions in uh, in ChatGPT. Now, that was great. That was easy. I'm gonna exit out of the voice interface here, and you know we have this chat here, right? And I have all of this information here. Well, this isn't gonna be very helpful for me. I need to be able to extract it. So this is another really great instance where. I can use ChatGPT to do do this for me. So I'm just gonna tap, uh, I'll type in here and I'll say, um, can you export these into a Word doc for me? Question mark. We'll give it a moment and it's analyzing. I've noticed that when you ask it to do something like that, it usually takes a little bit longer. Oh, that was quick. All right, so it says I've created a Word doc with your session titles and description. You can download it here and I'll click and I'll download. I'll put it here on my desktop, save. I'll take a moment here. There we go. Let's take a look. There we go. TechSmith presentations, title, scripting for visual communications, crafting engaging videos with Camtasia. There's my description, session two, from script to screen, mastering animation in Camtasia. This is great. All right, so now I'm done. I can send this off. I might be able to edit it if I need to, put some learning objectives in, but you know, in a matter of literally, I don't know how long it's been, less than 15 minutes, I've gone ahead and created these uh, session titles. So that's another really great example of how I use uh, ChatGBT in a really natural, human, conversational sort of way in order to get this sort of work done, all right? So here's what I wanna know. Let me know down in the comments, how have you used uh, ChatGPT in a similar way? Do you use the voice interface? Do you, do you talk to it and brainstorm it in that way? Have you ever done that? If not, give it a try and let me know, all right? Otherwise, I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and bell button to get alerted the next time I publish a video just like this one. And of course, join us inside the eLearning Designers Academy at elearningacademy.io, where we help new instructional designers and eLearning developers grow their skills by focusing on grow their careers by focusing on skills first. I got that wrong. It's okay. I'm, you know, not in my normal office, so I get a pass this time. All right. My name is Tim Slade. Until next time. Bye, folks.